Welcome back to part four of my crazy life story. Um, <laughs> I am now on school pickup and it's raining again while the sun shines. It's a thing. So where was I? Ah, uh, yes. So my hubby now, we had only been dating for a couple of months and he decided that he was going to move to the UK. Um, and I really didn't know where I stood in all that, you know, in the whole moving thing. And until we actually had a conversation with one of our friends and he turned around to us and he was like, well, why don't you just go with, I mean, what are you doing in Botswana? You know, like, what are you, what's, what's your life plan? So I kind of was like, yeah, that'd be cool, but you know, we'll see. And he was actually really into the idea. He was like, yeah, it'd be great if you could come, you know, like, yeah, let's do this. So I got hold of um, a couple of immigration consultants and some advisors. And basically I was told that if I want to go with him, the only way I could do that was to get a spousal, spousal I think I said that right, spousal visa which means that I, we would have to get married. Uh, that kind of took me as a shock because basically there was no other way for me to get into the country. So I then phoned my partner and I was like, well, look, this is the thing. We'd have to get married if you wanted me to come with. I obviously don't want you to feel pressured to do that in any way and I'm totally fine you know like if this thing ends it's 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 okay we will get through it and I kind of put the phone down and I said to my mum I was like well that's the end of that uh, and my dad happened to be speaking to his sister my aunt who also lives in the UK and she said to him oh well what happens what happens if he proposes you know you don't know and my dad laughed and we all laughed and it was a big funny joke and in walked my partner and he was like let's get married what's the worst that can happen uh, you know we're good together let's get married and see what happens so basically he was there to ask my dad if he could marry me which was very sweet and the start of our big immigration story. Join in for part four!